morning it is saturday today and i join you today from our new house um it's very exciting i'm not gonna do a tour of it right now though because i'm actually rushing out the house to go to hayward's heath basically i ordered us a new rug for the lounge and i thought i got it sent to john lewis in horsham I did not. It defaulted to the waitress at Hayward's Eve. So um, I'm popping back there this morning. I'm going to go say hi to mum and uh, go and get our rug. And then when I come back, perhaps then I will do a new house tour. But it's very exciting. Actually, do you know what? I wanted to film one, like MTV Cribs. Do you want me to open the door when you get back and we'll do it? Yeah, like, on, no, I thought you could film and I could open it. Oh, door. I'm the cameraman. I'm not the star. Yeah, oh, obviously. I thought I, I thought I was the star. No, not today. The star is... A burrito of duvet right now. Right, I'm off. Bye. Bye. Just got to Mum's house. Mum's house, not my house anymore. And I don't know if I'm supposed to knock now or if I'm supposed to just use my key. I guess I should knock. <laughs> Hi. You don't have to knock. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It was good. Better for seeing you. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's my pussy cat. Why is he covered in leaves? You look like you're fat again. No, he's not. I leave for a week and he's doubled in size. If you missed mummy, you have to come and see my new house soon. Just picked up my rug from Waitrose, which is looking really nice. I can't wait to get it home and get it unrolled. I'm home. I'm in a Rug delivery. Oh, well done. There you go. Look at you go. I'm just taping up the ceiling. Well done. This, we've been painting the bathroom dark green and it's a very unforgiving colour and it's very hard to cut in on such oh, a rough ceiling. Oh, it looks ceiling. nice. I know. Well, it looks kind of different. Let's put it in. Let's I think this in. is the bottom that you can see from here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I think so anyway. Right. We'll get it in place and then the big reveal. You're getting all these sneak peeks of the house already. Ooh. Um, scissors please, my lord. drip feed rooms into the vlog today one by one as and when they are neat and tidy and i feel like a good one to start with is the lounge so let us enter are we drip feeding the lounge yeah so here is the entrance to our lounge we have a little drop leaf table where elliot and i have been having our dinners of an evening this chair is currently broken and is not Neither reliable in the slightest chair. um we've got this lovely picture up which elliot got me for christmas oh my I birthday did, yeah, christmas. christmas yeah um, basket which will be of throws, Neil's old toolbox, some stuff that we need to hang, loads and loads of um, welcome home cards and new home cards which is so sweet of everybody. And then we've got this lovely black fireplace and this big mirror from Dunelm. Um, a few cute bits here. We got a TV but we haven't got a TV stand yet, we can't find one that we like so we might get a carpenter to come and like build us a uh, boxy thing there and a big orange pencil. Then we've got, oh well actually, we've got our shutters, which were basically the bane of our lives when buying this house, but we're really pleased that we've got them. We've got a couple of cushions to go on the floor if people want to sit on the floor. Plant, Ikea lamp and the pièce de résistance, our habitat sofa, which I've had my eye on for a very long time and we love it. Yeah, it's really nice. And today's edition is this new rug. We've got nice dark wood floors. It's a pretty dreamy room, I have to say. I love it. There you go. There's a little overview. Very cute. Oh, and we hate this light fitting, so that's going to go sooner rather than later. <laughs> what else is there in the realms of print things? So, yeah, no books. Elliot and I are just strolling into town to go and run some errands and pick up a couple of bits. Um, but it's so nice because we get to walk through Horsham Park to get to town, which is amazing. Especially on days like today where the sun is out and people are out and about. Look, there's some volunteer litter pickers there. There's, loads, there's all these actually. like little football clubs practicing. It's very sweet. 
What a nice day. Just picked ourselves up a spalted beach pepper mill from the charity shop for three pounds. <laughs> Very cute. Love it. Yeah. Has it got a good turn on it? Give it a little. Ready? Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Horsham Market is on every Saturday and it is just dreamy, especially in the weather like this. And we just went to this new shop that opened and we bought an amazing Pim's glass. But you can't a see Pim's it. jug, I mean, which is all wrapped up. With we'll bubbles. look at it later. Do you know what I like? I like the bubbles that come out of the jug so they'll fill up with liquid too. Oh yeah, which is cool. that's true. There's a stall in the market that do Czech and Slovak food and I've had this thing three times now. It's so delicious. <gasps> I can't get it open. <gasps> ah! Oh, here we go. It's like a chicken escalop with a potato salad and oh my god, it's banging oh my god. and I'm so hungry, so enjoy! We're getting a little pint of cider to walk home with. Yeah, I'll have a pint. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Cheers to you. This is our new jug that we bought. This is for Pims. It's got little bubbles in. It's bubbly. That fill up, which is fun. And this is our new. Do you want to tell now? everyone what it is? Spalted Beach. My love. And that's a good. That is a good. Mm -hmm. Basically, we have a garden here, which is amazing. Neil, Elliot's dad, is coming today to basically weed the entire garden, which is very exciting to get it ready for us being in there over the summer. Um, and he should be here any minute, actually. Wait. What? What's that line? What line? We also bought. Some white roses for our bedroom. Or for the lounge. We should we should put one in the lounge. We've got lilies in the bedroom already. Talking of which, let's do a bedroom reveal. Bedroom, here we go. Little overview here. So we come in. I bought this chest of drawers on Facebook Marketplace for £50 and it had these ugly um, wooden knobs on it. So I replaced them all with these lovely kind of brass handles. We have nowhere else for our clothes horse at the moment, but uh, there it is. We've got a lovely lily, some incense. These bits are all going away when we get our other chest of drawers for the office, but in the meantime, they're just staying there. This is mostly me, but a little bit of Elliot. We've got our laundry bin that we also got on Facebook Marketplace, which I love. Again, this is gonna go away in time. Um, in the corner, we've got a built-in wardrobe, which is very nice and tall and lovely. That's got most of our clothes in it. And then we've got this bed at the moment, which was my bed from mum's house, but we are getting a king size bed from Maid, but it's not coming for another few weeks, which is annoying. And I bought these amazing cushions. I'm literally obsessed with these from, I think it's called Burt's Home Stores in Brighton. And they're from a company called Fern, F-U-R-N. Um, and I just love them. And in fact, I'm waiting to get some navy ones for our sofa as well. Uh, so quite a lot of wall space here for artwork. And, oh yeah, something a bit funky about our house is that it has no doors, so the last owner took all the doors off to save space and also heightened the door frames. Um, but what it means is that when Elliot wants to stay up later than me and play on his Switch or whatever, or watch films, um, I can hear him. So we're having like a rail across here and we're getting this old like reclaimed wood door that's gonna hang and then we can slide it across when one of us goes to bed early which is very exciting. And then we've got a big double window as well, which lets in a lot of light. So that is the bedroom, et voila. Neil has arrived and the boy's working in the garden. I think I'm a bit of a spare part when it comes to gardening. So I've come back upstairs, I'm gonna do some marking that I've got to do before Monday. And uh, I'm just gonna keep, keep them topped up with drinks and hydrated so that way I don't have to be out in the sun doing all the hard work but I keep them happy while I'm at it. <laughs> I've just finished marking my year nine work and I'm gonna pop into the garden, see how the lads are getting on, see if anybody needs any sun cream or any um, drinks to keep them going. Here they are, the hard workers. Oh my goodness, look how tidy that side looks. Wow, I mean, while we're here, garden reveal. <gasps> My goodness, Did you get the parcel you've been well? so busy. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, wow. Is everybody suitably sweaty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done. Turns out we have potatoes growing in the garden. <laughs> so what are we going to pair them with for our dinner, Els? I actually don't know. We've got mint <laughs> over there. We've got loads of mint. 
going to have some raspberries or blackberries so or some sort of berry. Yes, mint and new potatoes Bye. and butter. Lovely. <laughs> Neil has gone home now. The garden is looking amazing. And Elliot's just had a shower, washed all of the mud off of him. And we were going to go out for dinner tonight, but we have decided that we are going to pop to Sainsbury's and get all the ingredients for like homemade bruschetta and a big jug of pims, which would be nice. Best get cracking if you want the sun. Yeah, let's go. We're back from Sainsbury's and I just fetched some mint from the garden. I am on Pim's duty in our new Pim's jug. Oh my god, this is looking good already. And Elliot is on uh, is that good bruschetta duty. Yeah. Yeah? yeah How many would you like? Like three, please. God, if smell o vision was here. Nice man. Oh, they're smoking. Oh. <laughs> Char grilled. Oh, this is like summer on a table, isn't it? Cheers, big ears. Cheers, big ears. This is strong. Sorry about that. Not complaining. Oh my god, enjoy. So that bruschetta was incredible, and Elliot and I now both pong massively of garlic. Um, I've just had a shower and we're gonna like settle down for the evening, so I thought now would be a good time to show you the last three rooms of our house. First being our office slash spare bedroom, which um, is currently our dumping ground for everything that's going up in the loft, so bear that in mind. And it's currently looking like this, with this crazy wallpaper, which I think we're gonna remove. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, the, all these things are going up in the loft. Then we move on down to our bathroom, which you saw a sneak peek of earlier, but let's do it properly, shall we? We have painted this green. We still need to cut in at the top there. Uh, but we come in, we've got this nice taps, nice mirror with good storage, I have to say. Um, a few nice little bits. Laurent makes his debut. I don't know if anybody watched my vlogs back in the day where Elliot and I bought him in the lanes in Brighton. Um, and we've just got a little electric shower up there. Oh, and the plan for this is that we are gonna tile the floor, black and white checkered, which I think is gonna look amazing, as we also wanna tile the floor down in our hallway um, as well, a similar way as well, so that'd be nice. Last but not least, we have our kitchen, which is looking a little bit like this. So Tina and Neil kindly bought us the Dualit kettle and toaster, and also a coffee machine, which I never would have considered for myself, but I've been loving this having an Americano every morning. Uh, we've got our beautiful Le Creuset from my mum. We've got our new pepper mill from today. Um, a few bits that you might have seen in the halls. And then this is kind of our dumping ground for paint that we're working on at the moment. And we've got a cute little plant back here, which I'm trying to keep alive. Um, and then this is, again, like a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. This cupboard has got a lot of my baking stuff in it. Uh, washing basket, our new Hoover. And then, of course, the fridge with all of the wine and our new clock. And then we got this little step ladder, which is actually supposed to be the other side of the fridge. Oh. And other than things like airing cupboards and storage cupboards, that is it. It's so funny, Elliot and I were just talking about how um, when I pictured us having a house, it didn't look like this. Like I always pictured I'd live in like a really crazy, mentally decorated house. But the more we're in here, the more calming it is. And we're like, actually, we're probably gonna keep a lot of the walls just like white or just, you know, something really just calm. Whereas before, I literally wanted to paint the ceiling orange because I thought that was really cool and wacky. Um, so it's funny how your tastes change or from what you had envisaged, envisaged yourself living like to how you actually are. Of course, there's a lot we want to do. We actually just over dinner wrote a massive list of things that um, we want to do or buy for the house and we prioritize those. And so we're just gonna take them like five at a time, I think. So at the moment we've got five on the top of the list that we think are the most important. So we'll try and get those done over the next couple of weeks and then we'll just work our way down the list, getting things together as and when we go. But um, I am gonna go and start a new book now on the sofa. Elliot is gonna play his new Switch game. I don't know what it is, I don't get involved with stuff like that. Tomorrow we've got our first Sunday here. We actually moved last Sunday, so it'll be like our week long being here. Um, and I think we're gonna try and make our first roast, which should be interesting because all the numbers on the oven have been rubbed off over time. So cooking is really like winging it here. Like I have to just guess where 200 is, for instance. Um, 
and also we're going to try and put all of everything that's in the office up in the loft tomorrow as well so it's going to be quite a bonkers day but i will probably vlog it so i will see you then thanks very much for watching this busy day vlog and i'll see you very soon good night